According to the State of the Space Industrial Base report of 2022, which representatives from the Space Force wrote, Defense Innovation Unit, Air Force and Air Force Research Laboratory, China is aiming to overtake the United States as the world's dominant space power, economically, diplomatically, and militarily by 2045. These organizations worried members contend that the United States need to take swift action to protect its edge over Beijing, including making greater use of commercial technology and establishing long-term bipartisan policy objectives. Participants raised concerns that the People's Republic of China's growth trajectory is significantly steeper with a large rate of overtaking needing urgent action. While the United States space industrial base remains on an increasing trajectory, according to the analysis, Welcome to yet another video, and in this video, we take a look at the controversy over dominance in space. Stay tuned till the end of the video if you wish to know all about it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel Beyond We Go. The United States of America controls the International Space Station. However, according to the space treaty signed by various countries, the ISS is going to retire as early as 2031. Hence, it is clear that once that happens, the US is not going to be the only unipolar power in the race for dominance in space. China is getting ready to launch brief lunar missions within the next eight years and deploy substantial pieces of equipment to the moon in the 2030s after becoming the first country to set foot on the far side of the moon in 2019 and then landing on Mars in 2021. It is also constructing a space station in low Earth orbit and once the International Space Station shuts down in 2031, it might be the only nation with an orbital presence. China finished building its Yu Tiangong space station on October 31 with the launch of the last component. Mention, which translates to dreaming of the heavens, is an 18-meter lab module that allows for a variety of scientific investigations and now expands the station's capacity to six people at once. Commander Chen Dong and two other astronauts are now stationed there. It's a big achievement for China's quickly expanding space program, which has aspirations to establish a lunar base, send a lunar rover into space, and dispatch new Mars landers and orbiters. Additionally, it is the International Space Station's first stable neighbor since the Russian Mir station was deorbited in 2001. Between 2011 and 2019, however, China flew two Tiangong experimental prototypes, but they are no longer in orbit. For the Chinese space program, this is crucial. There is not much time left for the International Space Station. According to Fabio Tronchetti, an expert in space law who teaches at the University of Mississippi and Beiyang University in Beijing, there may only be one orbiting space station left, the Chinese one. The Chinese space program intends for Tiangong to have a lifespan of 10 to 15 years with the option of an extension. Space exploration and crewed space flight have historically been dominated by the US and its allies, including Europe, Canada and Japan as well as by Russia. However, in recent years, these efforts have been on the wane. China has now achieved what the US and Russia did a few decades ago, and it did so rapidly, independently, and with some upgrades from earlier designs. Tiangong was constructed in China in just one and a half years. Although planning for the station started in 2011 with the launch of the first of two test versions. The Tianhe Core module was launched in April 2021 and the first astronauts touched down in June of the same year. In July 2022, the following module went online, followed by the last one. The T-shaped station is comparable in size to Mir, the groundbreaking space station that functioned in the 1980s and 1990s and has two modules attached to the core. 
Although it is smaller than the ISS, it has interior amenities like a microwave, less clutter, and more Wi-Fi rather than wiring that increase habitability and, in turn, astronaut productivity. Although the station itself is not going to get much bigger, the space agency may one day attach a robotic telescope to it. The T-shape of Tiangong may restrict possible expansions, as will other considerations including the need to control energy use and eliminate waste heat. The International Space Station, which includes trusts, construction, and enormous solar arrays, has undergone numerous expansions, although assembling it all took many years and launches. Similar to the International Space Station, China's station will present some avenues for collaboration via which other nations might send experiments and possible personnel in the future to Tiangong. Researchers from European institutions and other nations have proposed experiments on a variety of subjects, from gamma ray bursts to space medicine and atomic clocks. It already has a Saudi Arabian experiment on board. Chinese business partners might also participate by starting freight missions. But China's aims for Tiangong are different from those of the ISS, which constantly relies on the assistance and cooperation of its partners. The criticism of unauthorized intrusions and a lack of responsible behavior has increased as China's space stations have become more successful. However, the uncontrolled re-entry of components from China's Long March 5B rocket, which delivered modules to Tiangong, has received criticism. These complaints are merely attempts to debunk or obstruct work on its space station. After all, the ISS has itself become out of control, leaving everyone from the ground to the ISS trying to recover stability of the enormous station. ISS lost attitude, control over the station and communication with its seven-person crew in 2021 after a software error forced the station to pitch out of its regular flight position. However, all space stations face these challenges and when they are framed in the context of geopolitics, they can be effective at winning over allies. Alliance politics are obviously stretching to space more than ever before, even though it isn't clear whether allies will stick with one side or the other. Due to this, China may try to establish a reputation for exercising better space management. Despite all what has been said and done, it is important to note that China itself is looking for partners and allies in space. It aims to highlight scientific and technical exchanges and experimentation through Tiangong. The European Space Agency, France, Germany, Italy, Russia, Pakistan, Kenya, and the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs are just a few of the partners China parades alongside the ISS. As the first of its sort available to all UN member states, Tiangong is praised. If current trends continue, China might be the only nation with a running national space station. This is due to the fact that, aside from providing access to the ISS for business and marketing purposes, the United States is still developing its plan for the post-ISS era. Commercial space stations are a dream shared by the US, but it is unclear whether this goal will come true. China is seeking to fill any potential gaps in the US's space presence, which are foreseeable at this point in time. Do you think China can provide their dominance in space against the world superpower USA? Do let us know in the comments.